All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praise is honor and glory be unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakwadash, which is the Paleo Hebrew for the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. All right, they're the only name that you could uh, receive salvation under Yahweh being the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai, that of His Son, the Messiah, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. I want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone that rule well, who are elders of all of Israel today, whether you receive that or not. And uh, heavy peace and salutations and blessings to the elect. All right, the 144,000 all the way down to the one-third men, women, and children who truly believe in this word, man. Um, you know, this is a message that not only the uh, slanderers and scorners could uh, grow and benefit from, but... Uh, even ourselves, man, as uh, potential members of the elect, all right, sometimes we got to uh, reflect on our own actions, reflect on ourselves, and, uh, you know, seek further growth to continue in this truth and to be deeper rooted, man, and, uh, you know, these are things that we got to pray for, these are things that we got to meditate on and seek out, um, but what you're seeing here, you know, is just uh, one of those, uh, one of those scorners, all right. Um, I was watching a, a video as I woke up this morning. One of the brothers did a lesson on it, you know, so through the spirit, you know, stirred up within me. And, uh, you know, I figured I would do a follow up lesson as well. Uh, <clears throat> just play a little piece, I guess, you know, and it's not. Shalom, shalom, everybody. This is your girl, the anointed princess of Zion. Y'all don't want the delicate, feminine, beautiful, sweet smelling women of your nation. You want you want these nasty ass. I don't even know what to call and stuff. I know I'm fine as hell too. You can you can see from my profile picture on YouTube, my YouTube avatar picture. I'm fine as hell. So, you know, I just wanted to get the point point across of the pride, man. You know, a lot of these uh, scoffers and scorners and slanderers, they're filled with pride, you know, and it's, it's just due to a lack of self-reflection, all right? Because first of all, you know, if, if this woman was a righteous woman, she should be concentrating just like all these other scoffers and scorners just and 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 you know all the all the all the israelites out there man should be concentrating on causing the elect to grow all right being an example we're going to get some scriptures to back it up um you know and not glorifying themselves all right it reminds me of uh of that song uh that old outcast song uh caroline all right because in there there's a part that he says uh she, she thinks she's mighty fine, but roses really smell like uh, uh, doo-doo. All right? And, and really, man, we're all in that place. All right? We're all unworthy of salvation, and we're all seeking and hoping for that salvation. Okay? And especially, uh, you know, re really, really just all of us, man. You know, and, and like, you know, these different videos, you know, they like to portray us, paint some kind of picture on us. But really, man, we love our women. We love our children. All right, we love our uh, uh, families. But at the end of the day, man, we just choose Yahweh to be first. That's why Paul said, uh, "Those those that have wives be as though they had none." All right, really, is showing a, a greater love in Yahweh by Shem, uh, in Yahweh by Shem Shai and for uh, you know those around you, for you to to push Yahweh by Shem Shai all the harder, man. Okay. Um, but let's go ahead. Let's get into some scriptures, man. This is uh, Matthew 7 and 15. This is, Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, right? So in sheep's clothing, just showing that they're putting on, uh, painting some kind of picture of themselves to make them look like they're something that they're not. All right. It says, But inwardly they are ravening wolves. Okay. So. You know, through this scripture, we know that there's people out there like that. So how do you know who they are? And it's it's going to continue. It's going to tell you. It says, uh, verse 16, 
Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather gra uh, uh, grapes of thongs or figs of thistles? Right, so you're going to know who these men are by their fruits, okay? And one of those members of that uh, of, of those fruits are, are what are they doing? Are they are they seeking the growth of the elect? Are they seeking uh are they seeking vainglory? I mean, look at look at all these different videos, man. You see all all almost all of them have a, a GMS or some kind of some kind of pride put on them. So what do you what are you, you going to show when you how shy comes? And, and requires your works at your hands, man. What are you What are you going to show? And you know, like I said, this is a woman anyway. She needs to be concentrating on being an example to the uh, uh, women of Israel. Okay, not to uh, not to just be a slanderer and a scorner. And and like I said, man, you could you could see all the examples of the fruits. And this this is just one example. All right, there's many within Israel that are uh, just the same. Okay, doing the same things, same old rotten fruits coming out of them. Okay, well, what are they gonna say when Yahweh Shai comes back, man? They're gonna point the finger at GMS. Well, GMS was doing this. No, you should have been self-reflecting, man. You should have been doing videos uh, uh, concentrating on the benefit and the growth of the elect. And this goes for all of us, man. All of us need to be self-reflecting. All of us need to be uh, seeking to be an example. Okay. Now let's let's go ahead. Let's keep going a little bit further on this. Uh, verse seventeen. It says, "Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth corrupt fruit." And there's there's a form of corrupt fruit. All right. Spending all these all all this time in in, in slandering and scorning, which you know there there is reproof. You know, and reproof is a beautiful thing, man. Because uh, you know, I was just watching the uh, elder uh, Yashawamba, and he brought out the point of uh, reproof. You know, if there was a truck coming after me, I want you to scream, "Get out the way!" You know, and that—that's a form of reproof, man. And 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 that reproof will save you. It'll deliver you. Okay, but you know, the whole gospel doesn't revolve around reproof. Okay. Um, let's go ahead. Let's jump to Matthew, the fifth chapter, and uh, let's see around the eighth verse. This is Matthew 5 and 13. It says, Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? Right, the salt of the earth, the flavor of the earth. The earth was created for the 12 tribes of Israel, man, and for them to teach and to show all Israel and ultimately the entire world how they should operate, man, how they should act. So if you're claiming to be a man of Israel, then you need to be being an example to those around you, okay? Rather they be Israelites or heathens. All right, they should look at you and realize that there's something different about you. All right, something something upright about you. All right, feel that you're uh, uh, trustworthy. And, you know, they're going to come at us with false accusations and try to demonize us, man. But, you know, those that know you in your day-to-day -day life should have a totally different picture painted about you. All right, because going up to the 12th, to the uh, 11th verse, less are ye when men shall revile you. So, you know, men are going to revile you for this truth. I've had it many times where you had people, you know, in the world around you. And, you know, these people, they, you know, they thought they thought the most uprightness about you. But then, <laughs> then once, uh, once someone, because you'll have, you'll have people, I, I, this uh, uh, place I was working at for uh, a long time, actually, you know, being a testimony to it. Uh, there was a there was a point where uh, there were these two people that were at my work that went about and you know somehow they got a hold of a hold of the uh, uh, camp channel and they were showing it to everybody throughout the work. All right, so you know next thing you know all this persecution started coming. 
you know, people slandering, talking stuff, you know, list goes on and on, man, and, you know, I, 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 I went in, I went into my room, man, and I beseeched Yahweh by Shimmy Al Shai, just to bear witness to what's going on, man, you know, I, I wasn't out there pushing my own thing, pushing my own message, these people all knew me to be, uh, uh, you know, an upright, uh, person, so to speak, but as soon as they saw those videos, then all the slandering and mocking happened, and it wasn't for my name's sake, man. It was for the for the sake of how by Shimmy Al Shai. Next thing you know, those two people, man, one of them fell through a ceiling, broke half his body, and the other one, uh, you know, got fired. And that's a big thing for Esau to get fired, because you know they 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 glory off of the riches of this world, man, off of the carnalities of this world, because Esau's carnal. Okay, got fired, man. His woman left him, and these are these aren't even things that you know I I asked for or or sook, man. It's the things that Yahweh by Shimmy Al Shai did unto them, man. So we don't take matters into our own hands, all right. But you will be hated for pushing this truth, man. You will be hated for it, okay. But that's not to say that you shouldn't be an example, all right. That that those around you and and we've had we've had a. Uh, uh, you know, police come up before and, you know, security, random people come up to the camp and, and witness on our behalf because they know that we ain't out there causing strife, causing trouble, but that's the picture that they're going to paint for you. All right. But uh, I'll go ahead and finish off this 11 since I started it. It says, blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my name's sake. So just like I said, false accusations. All right. Uh, Verse 12, rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. So this ain't this ain't nothing uh nothing new, man. Uh, verse 13. Read it in the Genesis. You have the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing. And that's these uh, uh, scoffers in these corners, man. And you, if if uh, if you're not really concentrating on on pushing this gospel to the uh, to the ears of the elect, man, for the name of Yahweh by Shem Shai, okay, you lose your salt, man. You're good for nothing. Right? You don't you don't see no good salt on the videos. This, this this woman ain't putting no videos talking about who the twelve tribes of Israel are. She's talking about she has a she has a, a man well you shouldn't be having your avatar picture up like that for for the whole world to see okay here's some righteous woman and, and hey you know we got we got love for the one-third uh women man but you know it'll be it'll be made known who they are on the other side we're not out here trying to seek out the one-third man we're out here just pushing the truth and the elect will hear okay it says, uh, It shall thenceforth be good for nothing, but shall be cast out and trodden under foot of men. There you go, man. Uh, uh, verse 14. Ye are a light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Right, so we're a light to, to the world. Okay? It'll, it'll break it down further. Verse 15. It says, Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house, right? So that light, it shows you the way, man. So if you're a light to the world, then you're setting an example un unto, unto all Israel, and ultimately, the whole world, how they should operate. Now, we know only Israel is going to receive that salvation, man. All right, so ultimately, you know, you're, you're, you're that light for, for Israel to see you, to acknowledge it and to uh, and to follow on and leave 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 their darkness behind. Okay, so if you're going to be an example, then you need to you need to really watch what you do and how you act, because you got different people watching you and seeking growth from you. Okay, and that that's that's really what they should be doing, man. All right, not watch not watching you and waiting for the next carnal video to come out. Not waiting for the next uh, uh, joke, funny, uh, the funny slanderings that you're putting out. No, they they're they're watching you to uh, to reflect on themselves, man. And so therefore, you need to also be reflecting on your own self. All right.
So, uh, uh, like they say in uh, that quote in uh, Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibility. What's the responsibility? You're, you're you being a light to the world. Okay, you don't just become an Israelite and go and go on with your day-to-day -day things like you did before. And that's why you got to take on being reborn again. All right. Uh, it says, "Let your light shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify." your father which is in heaven so there you go man perfect uh breakdown for being an example man all right yahweh shai was the greatest example of all all right so we got to follow in those same footsteps bear that cross and be an example to the uh, uh elect as well man all right but with that you know that i'll go ahead and end it there the lord willing it was edifying all right the growth of the elect man remember that we're setting an example for the elect man all right no matter who you are if you're claiming to be an israelite even if you're a woman all right you need to be concentrating on being an example for these other women do videos for these other women man my videos slandering uh uh the men of the lord all right not videos slandering uh gms or just concentrate on being that example to other women for the growth of other women all right that's the real fruit okay say double honors to the elders and the apostles at gms great millstone that rule well peace love and salutations to the elect shalom